All right, we're back to doing part four of our bat wing build. The 70 millimeter Detrum combo kit from hobbyparts.com. There's our 70 millimeter EDF unit already installed in the prior videos. All right, we'll pick up where we left off. I was doing some taping. We had just got done gluing on our fuselage, and gluing on our stabilizer fins. Now you guys, you guys definitely want to go back and hit these stabilizer fins with some hot glue. So I just run a bead. Right down the side of them. Go ahead and do both sides. want to lose a fin during flight. <sighs> All right. So we finished up gluing the, the fuselage on and our stabilizer fins. We even made sure we glued where these two pieces meet. And like I said, I went ahead and finished up box taping. I used this uh, easy start made by duck I just get it at the dollar store but I went ahead and I ran my clear tape all the way down the length all the way up the elevon this is going to give us that extra rigidity so I did that on the top on both sides as you can see now on the bottom I just went ahead and applied clear tape wherever I thought I needed it. So I'm just beefing this up. I even ran a piece from the tip of the wing here all the way back to the elevon. And then I went ahead and clear taped the bottom of our foam cup too. As you can see I just cut some long pieces. I wrapped them down it onto the fuselage. And then once I did that I went back with some extra pieces and clear taped over those. Alright, here I went ahead and cut a hatch out. I just took my ruler, set it on here like so, took my pen, marked out where I wanted my hatch. Then you take and cut at a 45 degree angle in on those lines. So you want to be cutting on the end. Same thing in the back, 45 degree angle toward the front of the bat wing, and a 45 degree angle in again on this side. And that way you get a hatch that won't fall through. As you can see all those cuts there. And I never use a magnet on these hatches, they just stay shut just from the air being sucked in through the intake here. Just like so guys, and then I clear taped it for a hinge, made a hinge line there with clear tape. Alright, I'm going to move along to showing you how I install my control horns. These were T-style control horns made by Dubrow. Super strength. Here I got one here. I'm going to show you how I install these. I went ahead and lined up my servo. Where I thought I was going to need it. We got these control rods that I pick up at the hobby store. It's already got a little clasp on the end for your horn. And I went ahead and found the size I needed. Just kind of set it up there and made some bends on it. Cut it down to the size I needed. Alright, so let's take and install this control horn. Now what I did was I made a cut in my elevon here. Went ahead and cut it. I fed this up through the bottom. Like so. And you want your the holes in your control horn to be right over your hinge line. Always make sure they're 
centered perfect over the hinge line just like I got there now I'll go ahead and take some hot glue apply it to the upper half here go ahead and feed it through the bottom get it in its place just like so now once I do that I'll go back and hit it with the glue gun from the top I want to make sure I get all the way around it. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the bottom. Make sure you got the control horn, you're gluing it to the wing here, to the elevon. So, so there I did both sides. I already did the other side. And there's how I install my control horns. Again, I make sure you clear tape over your foam cup on the bottom. It makes it nice and stiff. So when you land on it, nothing happens. All right, let's go ahead and uh, hook up these linkages. I'm going to go on the second hole down. The way I got a lot of a lot of control. Go ahead and do the same thing the other side here. Make sure you got these centered and where they belong. I'll go ahead and put it on the second hole down. I'm going to show you how I go about setting my servos on here. Oh, well, you know what? Let's do something else first here. I got to put this carbon fiber rod on here. Picked up this carbon fiber rod from my local hobby store. It's 2.3 millimeters thick. 5.6 millimeters wide and it was about 25 inches in length and I cut it down to uh, like 24 I believe so once I did that I took and scored it with my Dremel right where I need it to bend I wrapped some clear tape around that that way it's nice and strong I'm going to take and apply this on the bottom of my bat wing I'm just going to stay stick it on there like so now I'm gonna mark where it is so I want to place it right back in the same spot I got it right there remember you guys have to add this carbon fiber rod another hot glue stick and glue this on our bent wing. Losing my glue sticks. Be afraid to put the glue on this guys. Just like so. Go back there if I have my line. Put it at the starting point, bring her on down. Just like so. Again guys, you're gonna have to definitely get a this carbon fiber rod for your bat wing. Just went ahead and applied it on the bottom side of my jet. back in here and make sure it's good and connected with another bead of hot glue. I'm going to go ahead and run a bead of hot glue down both sides.
I'll just do one side for now just to show you what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to go back with some box tape and apply it over both ends. Just come out to the end here. Go ahead and tuck it down in there. You guys can use a pen or whatever you want to fold it over the other side. just to make sure it never comes off. I'm running out of box tape, so I'll just do one little piece here. Go ahead and wrap it back over to the other side. carbon fiber rod on there. It's gonna make this thing nice and stiff. And it's good because I throw my bat wing from I hold it from this end over here when I launch it. So it gives me a, something to hold on to from underneath. And it keeps the wing from flexing at all. Alright now let's go ahead and install our servos. Now I should have made my ESC wire a little longer here, but oh well. You guys can make yours to where you need it. You can see I got my Velcro in here for my battery. I tuck those wires in there. Now this is where you guys are going to take your template for the underside of your your wing line, just line it up with the front tip of the wing set it with your elevon back there that's going to tell us where we need to glue our servo on so that's how you guys would do it make sure you got it centered under both edges of the wing set the elevon to the pitch of your template and then you would take and hot glue this down on here hot glue your servo right on to the wing and make sure you got all your trim tabs centered I got all my trim tabs centered out so you guys can use the template to do that I just know where it belongs so I'm not even going to mess with it Some of this tape. Go ahead and hot glue these down on here. Again, I got the trim tabs all centered out. Now your servos, they only sit back, they sit back from the from the bottom edge here of your bend and your main wing just put them about a half inch back just like I got it right there so you ain't got to use your plans or nothing like I said just about a half inch from the edge of here let's go ahead and hot glue this I know where these belong so I'm just going to set it by eye There you can see I got my Elevon set 
slightly upward in the back and I can still go back and adjust it my first flight I'll figure out where it needs to be figure if I got time in this video I'll do a quick paint job on here for you if I run out of time then you guys can just paint it you know just blue tape over your canopy here and go ahead and run the flat black testers paint alright so I'm going to set this other servo be sure to set my elevon to where I want it just like so extra step I take when installing my servos it's very important what you want to do just go ahead and poke first make sure your clear tape is down there as you can see we've got the clear tape there and the carbon fiber rod so you want to make sure you we're gonna get this take one of these zip ties and wrap it around that carbon fiber rod on the bottom Go ahead and make two holes. Very important, you guys. You don't want to lose a servo. You just depend on hot glue holding it in place. So again, I got the zip tie going around the carbon fiber rod. This is also going to help hold that carbon fiber rod in place. tight just like so Go ahead and check the bottom make sure it's nice and tight around there yep like I said this will guarantee that you won't lose a servo go ahead and do this other side real quick carbon fiber rod yeah, just like so you guys make sure you just get this on here don't forget your zip ties and your carbon fiber rod for your wing just go ahead and just draw this one tight guys it's early in the morning here Just trying to get these build videos wrapped up there we go come over here get my clippers we got both our zip ties on here now Alright, so we got everything 
installed. Go ahead and put some clear tape over these our main wires for our servos. Just want to clear tape over them real nice. rush over to the paint booth and get some paint on here for you guys. Alright, I'm going to take my blue painter's tape. just want to come in here and tape off my canopy. I got my blue painter's tape going. I can only get a half hour of video on my camera, guys, so I try to rush. Always just use the blue painter's tape when you're going to be taping off on your jets. Stuff works good. Again, I bring these bat wings when I go do a lot of camp and we do over the summer I always bring them to the campsites and fly them around all right you guys so we got so again we went ahead taped up everything make sure you got all your tape on before you put your paint on I even went ahead and foam safe glued some of my corners you can just stick some foam safe glue on all these corners of your bat wing. Get it up here too. And it just strengthens up these loose ends. I'm going to make them a little more stronger. So just go ahead and foam safe glue all your corners. Oh, yeah, and at the back of the thrust tube where it meets with the tail. I went ahead and cut a 45 degree ankle into it just so the thrust, the air from the thrust tube comes over it nicer. Go ahead and make sure your bat wing's nice and clean before you apply your paint, you guys. Don't want a bunch of hair on there or hot glue, which I seem to have a lot of it on here. black paint. I usually do this when I get done. So we got our carbon fiber rod on there. We got our zip ties holding our servos on with hot glue. I'm just going to paint the top just to give you an idea what I do here. It just takes a really light coat you guys. and all that get them all looking same color I'm just gonna paint the top like I said you, you guys will know to paint your bottom when you're done I'm 
Let's go around the whole wing. Speed things up here. As you can see, the paint will all dry one color too. Even the paint that goes over your tape. Go back and hit everything. Make sure I got everything. All right, there it is, guys. Might run out of video time any second, so this is our final product. Again, the battery you're using, it's all on the plans. It'll tell you what battery, what combo kit. Now this is the, the bat wing from more from the movie. The one in the background there is my, my design I made. I'll be doing a video on that. I'll get some plans made up on that one too. Take this over here by this heater. As you can see, it's one cool looking bat wing. And like I said, go ahead and get your own canopy, you guys. Just get it from a hobby store. Or Go online and order one. And the dimensions were nine, nine inches by like two and a half inches wide. And they got a bunch of different kinds. Here you can see all my tape on there, you guys, where I taped it. Give you an idea. Cool. Again, I put on the plans all the all these stuff you'll need. The control horns, just a couple of control rods from your local hobby parts. I've got the little adjustable clasps on the end here. And again, if your elevons are set wrong on your first flight, you can always adjust it. They screw in and out. You can adjust for your, uh, it depends on how you want to fly. I mean, if you want a lot of control, you just set this clasp down lower on these holes on your control horn. All right, guys. It's the 70 millimeter bat wing all finished up. I'll go ahead and paint the bottom another time all right get back with you with some more builds over now want to lose a fin during flight all right so we finished up gluing the, the fuselage on and our stabilizer fins we even made sure we glued where these two pieces meet and like I said I went ahead and finished up box taping I used this uh, easy start made by duck I just get it at the dollar store but I went ahead and I ran my clear tape all the way down the length all the way up the elevon this is going to give us that extra rigidity so I did that on the top on both sides as you can see now on the bottom I just went ahead and applied clear tape wherever I thought I needed it so I'm just beefing this up I even ran a piece from the tip of the wing here all the way back to the elevon and then I went ahead and clear taped the bottom of our foam cup too as you can see, I just cut some long pieces. I 
wrapped them down it onto the fuselage. And then once I did that I went back with some extra pieces and clear taped over those. <clears throat> Alright. Here I went ahead and cut a hatch out. I just took my ruler, set it on here like so, took my pen, marked out where I wanted my hatch. Then you take and cut at a 45 degree angle in on those lines. So you want to be cutting on the in. Same thing in the back, 45 degree. All right, we're back to doing part four of our bat wing build. It's a 70 millimeter Detrum combo kit from hobbyparts.com. There's our 70 millimeter EDF unit already installed in the prior videos. All right, we'll pick up where we left off. I was doing some taping. We had just got done gluing on our fuselage, and gluing on our st stabilizer fins. Now you guys, you guys definitely want to go back and hit these stabilizer fins with some hot glue. So I just run a bead. Right down the side of them. Go ahead and do both sides. Angle toward the front of the bat wing. And a 45 degree angle in again on this side. And that way you get a hatch that won't fall through. As you can see all those cuts there. And I never use a magnet on these hatches. They just stay shut just from the air being sucked in through the intake here. So just like so guys. And then I clear taped it for a hinge. Made a hinge line there with clear tape. Alright, I'm going to move along to showing you how I install my control horns. These were style control horns made by Dubrow super strength here I got one here I'm gonna show you how I install these I went ahead and lined up my servo where I thought I was gonna need it we got these control rods that I pick up at the hobby store it's already got a little clasp on the end for your horn I went ahead and found the size I needed. Just kind of set it up there and made some bends on it. Cut it down to the size I needed. Alright, so let's take and install this control horn. Now what I did was I made a cut in my Elevon here. Went ahead and cut it. I fed this up through the bottom. Just like so. You want your the holes in your control horn to be right over your hinge line. Always make sure they're centered perfect over the hinge line. Just like I got there. Now I'll go ahead and take some hot glue. Apply it to the upper half here. 